What's up, Sushi Squad? We back in some more troll. Do -do -do. We're talking about that new Turkey Topia 2020 event. Now, this event did end up coming out yesterday. Uh, I've been a little bit under the weather and honestly a little bit busy. Uh, so I didn't get to get the video out to you guys immediately, but I did end up streaming myself doing the event. So I'll probably have that full stream go out tomorrow because today we're going to be focusing on the event itself. We're going to be talking about all the rewards that you're going to end up getting, uh, as well as some of the other items that you can end up getting during the Turkey Topia event for those of you that this could be your first Thanksgiving event for Trove, because there is quite a bit of different items that you will be able to get out of it. But first of all, let's focus on the new stuff, which I actually think is quite cool. But before we get started with any of that today, I gotta let you guys know, if you are new to Trove, you can use that sign up link that's down in the description, and then anything you end up buying out of the cash shop, I will make a percentage of that sale. It's an awesome way that you can help me out by helping yourself out, because if you were gonna buy something anyways, well... It doesn't increase the price of anything either. It's just an awesome way you can help me out. So thanks game ago and thank you find people watching at home because it has made a difference in my life and helped me to pay the bills and stuff. Now, let's get to it. So the first start of the event is going to be open the Turkey Topia table. So starting here from the hub and staring at the angelic statue, old players might not know where this is and honestly even new players might not know how it, where it is just because the new hub, though really cool, does take a little bit to get used to and can be quite confusing if you don't know where it is. Uh, but basically, you're going to just head over here, and it's going to be in the crafter's corner. Uh, the point being, and why I think it's so confusing, is because the signs in the middle only talk about the major directions rather than all of the stuff that's hidden over in the corners. It's just weird. But anyways, you're just going to go over into the house right here. This is always going to be available, the Turkey Tobia table. Uh, all you got to do is just open it, and you'll get 15 dragon coins. Easy peasy. Then they want you to get Turkey Topia mystery boxes. So we'll talk about everything to do with this crafting table in a bit. Uh, because first and foremost, if we go to any of the worlds, it doesn't really matter. You got to get three Turkey Topia boxes. It's probably the easiest method of getting the Turkey Topia boxes that there ever has been for a Thanksgiving or Turkey Topia event. Because normally these adventure boxes and any other of the many, many years that I've played this game usually would have like world bosses or you know when you wait in a world and the invaders come down way back in the day, those would be replaced by turkeys and stuff uh, and like weird event bosses and junk would end up going on, right? And it would affect the world around you, which was really, really cool. Now, Although it's a lot more efficient, you just destroy a dungeon chest and then you get a Turkey Topia box out of it. I personally find it to be a lot lamer than previous events just because I don't really feel like anything is going on for this event, you know? And, and that's a bit disappointing. But anyways, the Turkey Topia boxes are a one by one ratio. So you quite literally are going to end up, uh, you know, just complete one dungeon, you get one box. Uh, the quest wants you to get three of them and then once you do that you will end up getting three pearls of wisdom and then the next part of the quest wants you to uh craft a delve gateway which is called digsley's demise which uh this is another thing too this is just me personally okay i don't mean to be so like negative about the event because obviously the event gives us some good stuff and the event itself is still pretty cool but the thing that I really don't like about recent events is that they seem to really, really be pushing the delves with custom portals. And that would be fine if the custom portals actually felt like they were in theme with the event. Uh, so you're going to have to craft the delve portal right here. Uh, and then you can throw that down either out in the world or in your club world or whatever. Uh, it's going to cost three of the Turkey Topia uh, boxes, a bunch of blank scrolls, which you get for loot collecting recipes that you can get from recipe dungeons, uh, and then Pearls of Wisdom, which we already just got a few of them, otherwise they're found rarely uh, from defeating enemies, or you can get Pearls of Wisdom on gear when you end up loot collecting it. I think it has to be Crystal Gear and up, uh, if, if not, maybe even Stellar, I think. Yeah, actually, I think it works on Stellar, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but anyways... So you craft the portal, you plop it down, you can go into it with a bunch of people. Uh, the quest itself just wants you to craft one, and then you'll get three Empowered Gem Boxes from it. And then it wants you to use the portal, so you're just going to end up jumping into the portal. Uh, once you do, you're going to see very, very quickly that although the cave is going to kind of be Thanksgiving colors, 
uh, the enemies inside are not turkeys. It's going to end up being a bunch of bumblebees. I don't get it, but whatever. Uh, and then further than that, once you end up uh, getting to, there's going to be like a candy corn bee, and you'll have to kill that mini boss in order to complete the main objective of the delve. And then you go to the end, uh, and then the boss should end up being a giant turkey that you'll end up fighting. And then upon defeating him, you should see Digsley just chilling there with a little explanation mark on his head. Uh, and then he will end up, uh, I, I forget if he gives you the recipe or, uh, yeah, he's down in the Delves place and interact with the Delve portal uh, once you're in Find Digsley. So I think you just have to find him and then that completes the next part of the quest, uh, which ultimately ends up giving you the recipe for the sliced slider mag rider. Um, but the thing is that Digsley himself is also going to sell you a couple things um and you will have noticed I'll, I'll put a screenshot right here that they actually cost a, a total of 60 of the turkey topia boxes which means that you have to do 60 dungeons plus the three in order to craft the portal plus you need a couple extra uh chests to end up actually crafting the items because what you're seeing right here is just unlocking the recipes to craft some of the new items so that's one of the big reasons that the new chests are a lot more common while also, uh, you know, being a craftable resource kind of thing, right? So uh, once you're actually done with that part of it, it wants you to learn the recipe for the slice slider. And then once you end up using the slice slider recipe, it should just be in your inventory or claims menu. You'll get three illustrious gem boxes. So we're actually getting some pretty good items out of all of this. Uh, then they want you to craft it. So you're going to come all the way back to the turkey tobia table and the slice slider is going to be right here available for you. Now, here's the thing. It suddenly is going to start costing you trotting turkey. And if you're new to Trove and this is your first Thanksgiving event, you're going to be completely confused because because the game itself I don't think it actually explains this but uh, basically these are going to end up being the rare drop that you can end up getting out of the turkey topia boxes okay uh, you will be able to just buy these on the player market thankfully there you know there's people that have been around with trove for years so they should be a pretty decent price uh, fun fact, you can actually sell the Turkey Topia boxes for quite an amount, uh, at least on PC. People were selling a box for 1000 flux each. So that's 1000 flux for every dungeon that you do, which is pretty crazy. Not to mention, I think you could have saved these boxes from years ago, but I don't know. Anyways, uh, and then it costs pumpkins, which kind of weird that it costs pumpkins considering we just had the you know the hallows eve event or shadows eve event whatever uh but you should be able to buy these on the market you won't uh well i don't know if they do pumpkins still grow now like does trove still consider it the fall i guess it does because of all these trees and stuff as soon as the fall rolls over into the winter uh then i think the pumpkins can't be crafted anymore i'm not exactly sure and then tater tots which is from gardening 2.0 it's pretty confusing and weird, but at least they're tradable, so go nuts. Uh, and then Fey Dust, which is just going to be found in Fey Wilds from enemies and stuff like that. But out of all of it, you're going to get a pretty cool free Mag Rider just because the fact that this is a dance pad. Yeah, so uh, dance pads are cool, man. That's like one of the funniest, most hilarious things in the game. And this one is like some pumpkin pie type of dance pad. So hey, whatever. Once you've crafted it, you will end up getting 10 of the Turkey Topia mystery boxes. Uh, and then of course the last part of the quest, which we technically would have already done right here is to ride the sliced uh, slider. And then you'll end up getting uh, three more empowered gem boxes out of that. So, hey, that's pretty cool. Uh, now, a couple extra things to note is that there is a new pack in the store right now. I've heard it's not worth it, but I'll have a separate video that will uh, potentially end up reviewing that. Uh, and then there is going to be in the Digsley portal, as I mentioned previously, um, you can go in there and buy a bunch of things from Digsley. So if you want to be the absolute most cost effective possible, you're going to end up getting enough of your Turkey Topia boxes to craft the Digsley portal once, go in, buy everything, and then continue on with the quest line. But it doesn't really matter that much. It's not too expensive to craft these portals. Thank goodness. Like you can kind of do it with your eyes closed. 
But once you end up buying the recipes from Digsley down in his little hidey hole, you will then be able to actually craft these two additional items. Uh, so one being the floating feast table or feastable, which costs five extra turkey topia boxes, uh, enchanted wood, which you can find in Fae Forest and stuff. It's just the logs out in the world. Another pumpkin, more Fae dust, and then a bunch of seed feed, which you got to get from gardening or again from the player market. But it's wholly worth it, dude, because look at this thing. This is probably the dumbest mount in the entire game, and I absolutely love it because I like stupid mounts. I think, look at this. It's ridiculous. I feel like I'm in Harry Potter or something. Like, it's just, my God. Like, who came up with this idea, dude? This is just hilarious. I love it. Unfortunately, it doesn't glide. I feel like if it flew, that would have been hilarious. Also, even when you're idling, you're going to see this wind animation. Like, uh, just when you're standing still, it's going off too. Which is kind of funny because I'm pretty sure that this wind VFX uh, is actually going to end up being the same as the wind uh, gust wings that you can get for one of the Vanguard packs. But uh, we won't talk about that because let's just pretend that they didn't just recycle that uh, into another mount uh, that we get for free. And then there's going to be Prickles. Not Pringles, not Pickles, but Prickles. He's going to cost an additional five of these boxes. Uh, 100 shadow shards, which you get from, uh, that's kind of weird that it doesn't say, oh, a plentiful material found in the delves. Okay. It's not really plentiful, uh, but you do find them in the delves. Um, so there you go. They're not in shadow towers anymore. Anyone who's a returning player, shadow towers are kaput. They're gone. We've got delves instead, uh, mushroom chunk, which you can just get found in the world. But anyways, that's going to end up giving you this little ally, which gives 1% to crit hit 10% to crit damage. And he is probably one of the most adorable little allies I have ever seen. Like, look at him. He's a little porcupine. He's got a little hat. He's got a little cherry or an apple that's stuck to him. And his walk animation is just absolutely adorable. Like, look, look at him. Wait, wait, please, please. You're going too fast for me. I want somebody, if there's a modder watching, please, for the love of God, mod this into my pugs. Like, I think this would be the perfect reskin for Jub Jub and Buzz Buzz because of how adorably cute it is. Like, look at me. I love that walking animation. I think the reason I think this thing is so cute is because it does remind me of my dogs, dude. Like, seriously. Uh, now, moving on to the rest of the Turkey Topia event stuff. Now, this is all of the stuff from previous years, okay? Uh, and it's going to be a bit more tricky for you to end up doing because there's going to be all these different mounts. Uh, and a lot of them are going to cost the trotting turkey. So what the game is expecting you to do is to grind like, oh, maybe not all of them do. These are all some pretty weird resources. Um, but here's the three new items, right? Um, to get this amount of trotting turkeys could end up being quite a while if you're just doing it all yourself legit. And then the items themselves and the recipes of them uh, can end up being pretty expensive as well. So this is the ready roast, which is a bouncing mount. That's a giant turkey. It's absolutely disgusting. This is also when the devs were lazy. So it's all one color and has absolutely like no detail to it. It just looks gross. Um, the way you get this is of course trotting turkey, which is just from those turkey boxes, uh, thousand fade us, thousand pumpkin yikes, uh, which is weird because I think these Thanksgiving events were originally, I think they were originally sold by Luxian if I'm not mistaken, but now they've actually been thrown into the events section. I could be wrong about that, but, uh, this one in particular though, I mean, this is, this is cursed again, all one color or three if you're being technical but i mean look at this thing this is just a mess it looks so stupid it tilts me that the tail is slightly off center everything about this thing is cursed but uh that's exactly why i love it because it's probably one of the most disgusting uh mounts in the game uh there this is it this is what luxian has sold before it even includes it in the luxian tab they got to change that but this is an eaten turkey Good to see that it's actually just in the event tab now or uh well craftable i should say instead of just through luxian uh and then for some weird reason yet another like bouncing mount devs were really obsessed with the bouncing mounts for a while this i don't know if it's supposed to be like a roast or something it's just i don't know man it's like thanksgiving things it's very weird okay i don't get it uh and then there's the uh 
crummy drummy which hilarious name this one's okay just because it's a rolling mountain i love the rolling mounts just because the animation that the character does is absolutely stupid like look at him it looks like he's doing a little jig like hey, hey, hey i'm an idiot you know absolutely hilarious and then there's gonna be the anti-gravity gravy wow what a great pun devs uh this is kind of gross i do like that it's leaking out of the front but i don't know why i'm sitting inside a gravy pot like it's just weird it's a weird floating like i don't know it doesn't fly or anything but whatever uh and then we're getting into the old school uh turkey topia item which these ones it's funny these have been in for way longer and they're probably a lot cooler so here's the trotting turkey that you get look how much more effort has been put into this mount compared to those other ones it's actually ridiculous uh and then you can end up of course forging this into the appeased dream gobbler now the other thing too is like you can see that the dream gobbler and uh the trotting turkey both of those are tradable um I think these are as well, if I'm not mistaken, because basically anything that has a check mark on it uh, and doesn't let us craft it again, I think the point is that that is something that is not tradable. But these ones are, are they? Or is it just because they used to be in a ready, uh, a different uh, category, ready roast? Oh no, they're tradable. Oh good God, that's expensive. I guess it makes sense because it is a thousand pumpkins. Anyways, a piece gobbler, Kind of a shadow tower theme one it's got a nice vfx when it steps on the ground and stuff but once again you can see that old you know those old mounts just look great now the other thing too i want to point out is uh, you know though i'm criticizing some of these mounts and stuff like that this was back when trying worlds was in charge of trove uh all of those devs as far as i know are completely gone and now we've got game ago in charge and honestly speaking they've been doing a pretty good job uh with all of the new mounts and allies and junk like that like especially like the mag rider like, look at this. It's got so much more detail, even the swirl in the center and stuff, and it's all glowy and everything. Looks great, right? And then the feast table as well, which I just absolutely love this thing. And once again, you can see it's not all just one color. Even the wood of the chair is actually shaded. Like, good job. Good job, devs. Uh, anyways, this video has gone on long enough. Thank you so much for watching. I just wanted to make sure that you could see everything. There are still a couple other items that you can get out of the uh, Turkey Topia boxes. More notably, there's actually going to be Turkey Head Styles. Some weapons as far as I know. Some cool stuff. But honestly speaking, it's been years since I unlocked those. So I don't remember every single one of them. But either way, thank you so much for watching, gamers. Really appreciate it. Smash like, sub for more, buy the merch you want to support the channel, and have a great day. Sign on and stay epic, everybody.